Well, an amazing story of resilience for you this morning. It's all about a guy who had a dream of joining the ASU swim team. He did it, and then, well, Christine LaCroix will take it from here. Stephen Estes knows something about fighting against the odds. The word perseverance really comes to mind when, when um, an adjective to describe Stephen. Stephen persevered to walk onto the swim team as a freshman and pushed himself to be a key Sun Devil swimmer. But one year ago, his perseverance would be tested. Stephen and his brother were helping a stranded motorist on the freeway when this car left Stephen looking like this. The car struck Stephen and left him in the ICU with skull, wrist, and shoulder injuries. The night, first night when I went to bed, I was told, and my parents were told that, you know, we really got to pay attention to his brain swelling because we might have to cut out part of his skull for that. And that's, you know, kind of freaky to hear right as you go into bed. Stephen had to patiently rest his body and just heal. It's like any other injury with your body. Like, if you hurt your shoulder and you keep working it out, it's never going to heal. And so that's the analogy they gave me with my head. So for six weeks, I wasn't even allowed to go to class. The Barrett Honors student eventually made it back to class and the pool and eventually found himself at the U.S. Olympic trials for the 2012 Olympics. You can watch videos of the greatest swimmers. You can read about what they do, but it's really different to spend a week there and you can watch them warm up. You can watch them behind the blocks and you can watch the race from 10 feet away. This year, Stephen's not taking any time in the pool for granted. You hear that all the time. You never know what's going to happen, but it means a lot more when you're on your way back to school one day. The next thing you know, you're not in school for another six weeks. And this new point of view has Stephen pushing and persevering. I'm Christine LaCroix for 3TV. Well, ASU's swim team is off until December 16th. Then they'll host a big race with Pac-12 rivals Utah at the Mona Plummer Aquatic Center.